Hey, welcome back to New Day Northwest. We've all been through a lot in the past few years, and it's caused a lot of people to reconsider what they're doing professionally. Well, having a mentor can help with that. But how do you build or create a mentor relationship? I got some advice from business coach and author Jason Dries. The, the, the pandemic has changed the workplace radically, right? Mm -hmm. You can now, Zoom is now commonplace. So we have a lot more opportunities than we have before. And one thing mentor, mentors do is mentors kind of help expand our understanding of what we're capable of doing. Mm -hmm. So when you talk to a mentor, you may understand that you may have access to a different field or a different career or a different job that in the past you may have not had access to because you thought you were geographically limited. Got it. Now, a professional mentor, is that somebody you pay? Sometimes there are professional mentor groups, but... Uh -huh. A lot of times when people think mentor, they're like, okay, I need the person on the top. But right. the simple thing, the way to think about it is a mentor is simply, simply somebody who's done something you want to do. So you can have lots of different types of mentors. It probably is someone in your circle or your work who is better at something than you are. So you can actually learn things from a lot of people around you. It doesn't have to be the person at the top of, at the, top of the mountain. I love that. I love that. You, um, you are, you call yourself a performance coach. So my question to you is what is the difference between say a performance coach and a mentor? Well, that's a great question. Per, um, mentors are typically experts in strategy and they've done something like the mentee wants to do. Mm -hmm. Coaches on the other hand are like a performance coach. My specialty is mindset. And I, in uh, the performance coach, I help in business and also life. So basically coaches help the person evolve and along the journey through their challenges and obstacles where the mentor shows them what possible and gives them tips. I love that. I think that's a great distinction. So let's say, for example, yeah. I said, hey, Jason, I want to move my career in this direction. I want to work for, let's say, aerospace technology. What do I do? Yeah. Is that something that you could help me go towards? Absolutely, right? So if, if there's some excitement towards aerospace, right? Because we all have guidance, right? You have, you have social conditioning in your brain that tells you what you think you should do. And then you also have excitement directing you in a direction of your own life. And when you start to follow that, that's when the magic starts to go. And what coaching does, it helps you get clarity on what you think you should do, what you really want to do and how to get out of your own way. I love that. I love, that is so important, right? It Getting is. out of our own way. Yes. So how do we go about finding first a mentor, but then also a performance coach that is a right fit for us. Cause I imagine yeah. it's gotta be very like a good fit. Yeah. And well, for mentors, number one, I would number one, just like shift your expectations. Like I'm going to find a mentor. Right. Mm -hmm. And then just, you most likely already know one. And you've probably somebody who's, and, and maybe one of your coworkers has done something similar in the past, right? One of your friends. So really yeah. just start to look at the people around you who are doing things you want to do. Number one for a mentor. That's the simplest okay. way. Um, you can also go to like, if you're, you can go to networking groups or BNI or chamber of commerce and things like that, especially for small business owners. That's a great way to, to find mentors. To find a coach, I would say, go to a coaching program. That sounds interesting. You could Google coaching, you know, Jason Dries coaching does coaching. There's other companies that do coaching. Um, but I would encourage you to follow what's exciting and interesting to you because there's different types of coaching. There's life coaches, there's health coaches, uh, there's real estate coaches. And that direction really is going to work when you decide it's going to work. Right. Absolutely. I feel like though, I would be much more comfortable, like approaching a performance coach and saying, help, I need you coach yeah. versus asking someone to be my mentor. Like, how do you go about that I've actually had mentors that the asking never happened. Yeah. It just was a natural progression in my yeah. career. But how do you take that active role and ask? For a mentor? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think it happens more organically than most people think. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I found that people default to like, they want the person up here, but there's mentors right here. And right. the real thing is like, mentors are typically people at higher levels of success, usually. Now, they're usually happy to help people who want to climb the ladder themselves. So all you really have to do is be present, be honest, be respectful, and, and show some, some gratitude for their time and expertise. And they usually will start giving back. I love that. It really is such a wonderful thing. You know, until recently, I never thought, I thought, who'd want me to be their mentor? Like, you know, because yeah. you don't think of yourself as that. But how important is it for us who are in our professional careers and have been there for a while to step yeah. out and be a mentor? Well, I think mentoring is a great way. It's, 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 another, it's another level of growth, 
right? Mm -hmm. Because as, long, as you're climbing the mountain of your success, you, you're a rookie and then you get better and then you get seasoned, then you're a veteran. And when you get to the level of being able to contribute back, it's actually an opportunity to expand again, because when you take time as a mentor to slow down and help somebody else, you get to do some self-reflection. And usually that causes more growth and acceleration. I love as, it. Because as your impact grows, life rewards you more, right? That's what I found. Great advice. Be a mentor today.